Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a remake which was requested recently on the channel of Two Colours song Love Fall, which is an absolute smash hit. And if you didn't know, it's a cover of the Cardigan song Love Fall. So in this video, we're going to be using the brand new Car Music Volume 4 pack, which is such a sick pack. And that's come out recently, so if you guys want to grab your hands on that, you can get that down below. So in this song, they're using an electric guitar in the verses, which obviously we, we can't just like play in because it's not going to sound the same. Um, so we'll just have to kind of use our imagination and get everything else as right as we can. So we're going to start things off with with some piano keys and I've decided to just use FL keys for the first part of this whole piano sound just because like everyone's gonna have it. If you've got FL, it's one of the free pianos. So this is what the chords sound like. The second preset is also an FL keys layer. So we're playing an octave below. And by playing two octaves, you really get like a thicker sound. It just really helps the whole overall piano sound to not sound so toyish and just to sound a bit fuller. And then finally, we're using this synth piano, which is from the new pack, and it sounds like this. So in this context, it's not really doing the job that we want, but if you layer it with the other keys we've got, it adds a really nice kind of width to the whole sound. So all of a sudden these sound quite huge, these keys. And that's also down to some of the processing that we're doing. So we've got a bit of EQ work just to clean up the low end so you're not getting a lot of clashes in the bottom end. Um, and then I took a bit of the top end off as well just to kind of emulate the original. Um, and then we're going to a really big reverb. And then the Stereo Shaper does a really good job of taking sounds and just putting them super wide. Like the delay on here, I think it's using like a Haas effect. So you get like a bit of difference between the left and right. Um, so it just sounds really stereo. All right, so next up, to establish a bit of groove, we've got these snaps here from the new pack as well. Okay, so next up, we've got a Reese layer, which is from the new pack as well. Um, we're just gonna assume they're all coming from this new pack. And this is playing some really deep notes, just to kind of layer up the piano a bit. And you'll notice on the last bit here, we've got a really long held note. I'll show you guys why we've got that in a minute. But this is what it sounds like with the piano keys. So if you guys have heard the song, you'll notice there's this Reese bass at the end, which is being held and then just pitch bends down, um, I think a full octave. And then we've got some cut as well, which is opening up. And this is what it sounds like with all the automations we've got. So I've now also added it to crashes and reverses so you get a bit more transitions between the different sections. And then some tension build as well towards the empty section here of the free space. So as you can see, I've added some endless smile just to drown out all the elements right before the drop. Um, so you get a really thinning kind of mono sound and then all of a sudden when it hits, it's just really wide and in your face. And I felt like this preset, along with the amount that we used, just really helped to match the original. So although this is quite basic for now, the production we've got here, I think with the guitar, it just adds a lot more kind of depth to the whole song. Um, but this will kind of do for now, I think. And then we're just gonna go into the drop, which is a bit more in depth and we'll have a bit more production. So if you guys come back here on Friday, you'll see the next part where we do the whole drop. But this is what we've got for the verse so far. Save that. 